All right, so here we are in the event graph. Now, the event graph's got a couple of jobs to do. Uh, first off, it's going to need to handle uh, the ramp up of power when we go to pick up a battery so that that power level increases. Uh, but that is, in turn, going to be used to drive the material, which, uh, you know, from the artist's perspective, that's what I care about the most. So that's actually what I'm going to build first, is uh, just getting the... Uh, the power level and using that as a way to set our parameter value for our material. Now, as a quick reminder, because, you know, I'm an artist and I don't have the best attention span in the world, uh, which is not true, it's just been a long day, let's, uh, let's double check and make sure I know the name of the, uh, the parameter I need to change. And uh, it looks like that's going to be power multipliers. I'm just verifying that I know what parameter I'm talking to. Uh, so here in the graph, we're going to start with uh, tick. Because every tick, we're going to make sure that whatever power level is currently set to, that is going to be pumped over to the material uh, to drive what the character's doing. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, you had some things happening on tick uh, in your code class, right? Right. It'll change its movement speed every tick. Okay. So because I don't want to have to deal with that, that means I don't have to set it up in Blueprint, which is great for me. I can just right click and add a call to the parent function and make that the first thing that on tick is going to do. And that should take care of that for you. So uh, once oh, we have... Uh, go ahead and wire up those two delta seconds. Oh, yeah, I, I should do that too. You're right. All right, so uh, next let's go ahead and uh, just talk to our parameter. So all I need to do is grab our dynamic power level. We can control drag a copy out like so. And then we'll just say set scalar parameter value. And our name was power... Uh, I can't spell power, apparently, power multiplier, like so. Uh, we'll make sure that that gets called. And then the value is where it gets interesting. We're going to take the power level, and I'll just control drag that out, and we're going to divide that by the initial power level, which is why we stored that at the very beginning uh, when the character kind of first came into existence. So let's just take power level, and we'll I, I look for the divide key, and then I don't find it, so I start typing the letter. There we go, float by float. And boom, so there we go. And actually that should handle that. Because really all we've done is we've normalized uh, the power level by whatever it was by default. So that now whenever it dips underneath that default value, we're going to get a value, uh, ratio, uh, something below 1 so he can start to darken up. Because we need that 0 to 1 value to be fired in and drive our material. So again, another super short video, but that's because these are little, you know, bite-sized chunks of what we have to build. So that will wrap things up for this part of the event graph. And in the next part, we'll handle uh, the ramping up system that uh, we'll use as the player uh, gathers more electricity from batteries. So thanks a lot. <laughs>